Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Emperor Dreadnoughts, where after the disappointment of failing to take Darwin last episode, kick off with uh, a convoy, a pretty big one actually, seven transports and a light cruiser. How many light cruisers do the British have? Uh, yeah, okay, so most of this building seems to be cruisers, which makes sense uh, for them to be trying to reform their escorts, pumping them out as quickly as possible but uh we can keep knocking them down keep taking our transports i mean i haven't even looked at the victory point total but uh it's got to be fairly significant but uh it's in our interest to drive it as high as possible basically to the i mean we don't want britain to collapse of course um because that's going to create a lot of work for us so we want to push them kind of to the point of collapse, then offer them peace, take as much territory as we can. What are you two idiots doing? Yeah, just happily murdering a little convoy here. There are your torps. There are mine. Uh, let's see if the destroyers are in the right place. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's looking potentially quite spicy. You're a light cruiser, so you don't have any defense against this. Oh, three hits. Two of the midships. That's going to hurt. Yep. That just sunk the ship. Straight away. Pretty much. Right. Well. Yeah. Probably just. Time lapse sinking in the transports. And I'll see you back on the map. Or, well, at the post-battle results screen, and then I'll see you on the map. Oh, I'm out of practice. Press the wrong button. Uh, there we go. <laughs> easy, easy money. Back to the map. Okay, it's now November, and uh, the Nikitsu has found the Indus. Shouldn't be too hard for her to take her out. Um, again, it's all very, very bitty. Um, the British don't really have a lot. I. Um, it's hard to tell what they should do in this situation because they kind of have to do this attempt to get, um, you know, ships out there to protect their convoys. But they're really uh, just sending many, many ships to their doom. Taken out a lot of them so far. Putting invisible tricks aside. Yeah, they might have fired a torpedo at me. Yep, they did. Got them. Main belt pens. Nine inch guns. Far too much for one of these. Phaeton class. 
And zero damage there, I think, for us. Is that right? Yep, no damage dealt. Lovely. Next. All right, next up we have Furutaka and the Kinu uh, finding the Chatham, which should be an equally horrific beatdown. Or at least I hope so, from my point of view. But yeah, I just, I just don't know where... You know, if, if I'm Britain, I've got 20 battleships. You might as well group them up, and I would throw them at the battlecruisers invading Darwin. Because um, that would be tough for me to deal with. Might force me off that. Uh, there's not much they can do about the th three fleets attacking Hong Kong. Um... Yeah, that would probably be my play. Just get all 20 of those battleships and try and... Try and... Uh, force that fleet off Australia away. Gonna drive straight at them with Furutake. We know those nine inch shells, when they hit, will do a lot of damage. Target. Oh, she fired. That's what I was waiting for. Kino fires her own torps. At least one set of them. I miss uh, getting badly hurt. Yeah, try an AP shell, would you? Uh, they're hiding. Flooding hit. Torpedoes at the smoke. Oh, we hit them as well. That'll probably sink them. If not, repeating flooding hits will. There we go. Got him. Goodbye to the Chatham. Good. Ah, well, here's the Royal Navy trying something different. The Drake, the Forte, and the Apollo. Three ships in one place, guarding two transports. It must be very important. Coming out of uh, Bangkok here. Uh, unfortunately for them, they've run into... <laughs> Three heavy cruisers and a light cruiser of our own. And that, uh, that is not good. That is very not good for them. Not even sure which types we've got, but it's still not good for them.
Do, do, do. So you have Nico Shirane Utsugi. It's another gun cruiser. In the Iwate. Okay, they're all all nine inches. Yep, nine inch gun cruisers. And lots of them. Let the slaughter begin. One ship sinks straight away. Probably a transport. Yes. That's a funky design. I really don't like how this is lifted up. Cord guns are an interesting choice. Tops. There we go. That was a decent hit. on the light cruisers down. Oh, torpedo hit as well. Oh, jeez. Slightly more conventional heavy cruiser. Probably not far behind. I do want to have a want to have a look at this one though. Oh no, this is a a light cruiser, really. Light cruiser, a forte with seven and a half inch, thirty-five caliber quad guns, three of them, twelve barrels, pretty nice, bunch of secondary guns, so twenty-four inch, fast torps, cool. Uh, that's a very weird armor scheme. Half an inch on the main belt is a little bit weird when you have clearly you have displacement and the inclination to put armor on. You put five inches on the main deck. That's just strange. Well, I can't make the AI armor its ships properly. up to AP. Now we should be able to finish them off pretty quick. Yeah, 
down goes the drake. Lovely. Nice of them to put uh, three cruisers together. That saves me having to do three battles. can just do one. Uh, let's head back to the map. All right, it's been quiet uh, for a couple of months. It's now February 1947. We have, however, taken Hong Kong, which is a fairly major scalp. So that means that really Britain doesn't have anything over here anymore. Um, two, uh, it's a very major naval base to lose. So I'm going to deploy the fleet to try and take Singapore. Um, this is probably the biggest port Britain still has in the region. It is quite difficult to take, um, but I think it's worth it. So, yeah, we're going to order all the ships down to Singapore. Shout out to uh, my Singaporean viewers. I know there's a few of you. Um, <laughs> don't worry, I, I, I know that you uh, like my content. I'll be a benevolent ruler. Um, doo -doo -doo. Right, uh, can I order the invasion now? Or do I have to wait for the ships to get in position? Singapore, I can order it right now. 285. That should be doable, because we've got about a million tons here. Lovely. Uh, again, these uh, the Soviet fleets just sitting here. Uh, not doing anything. Uh, what's the chances on this one? 85. Hey, not bad. Uh, in the meantime, the Otowa, not the Ottawa, the Otowa <laughs> has found the Birkenhead. Um, yeah, well, I think we know how this is going to go. Unupgraded Phaeton. I've seen that Britain has produced a couple of destroyers. Um, yeah, they are still building, building, building. I need to check on their eco actually, how they're how they're doing in terms of their economy. Because if if I see it starting to drop, we should push like precipitously. We should we should uh, push for peace. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, cool. Torpedoes, fucking hell. Yeah. When uh, the developers say they uh, fixed um, friendly ships getting away the torpedoes, they just turn that off. Because uh, it's hilariously funny how um, aggressive the torps are these days. I mean, I much prefer that torpedoes fire than they don't. Uh, and shooting torpedoes into your own ships, whilst annoying, is quite funny. Um, I'll make sure I don't do it again. Uh, you follow him. Uh, bloody invisible, aren't they? Yeah. So have quite a few torpedoes their way, but they should be able to see and avoid them. Shout to AP. There we go. That's what we're after. Flooding hits. Yeah, it's another bloody invisible one. weird error. It's kind of an annoying one as well. For the most part though, it uh, it is graphical. Like the ship is there. Like I can even see the details on it. I don't know what of course it, it does. I have heard people saying it happens in Vanilla 2, although it's rarer. Um, if you know anything about the game or modding the game and you have an idea of how I can fix that. It's something to do with smoke screens but I don't know what it is. 
It's irritating. Oh, that's sure it's going to eat its orp, isn't it? Oh, it's a dud. Lucky. Oh, now they've reappeared. There we go. When they reactivated their smoke. Weird. Torpedo should finish her off. Boom. Lovely. Right, transports. I'll just time lapse that. Done and dusted. Back to the map. Ah, now. Okay, now things are getting real. Yeah, we've taken Northern Australia. Lovely. Right, let's move the battle cruisers down to Perth. And let's take Western Australia. I don't think I'll be able to order it already. No. Nope. Uh, Singapore only... Ha what? Actually, no, it's gone up. It was 66 last turn. It's gone up to 89% chance. Which is pretty darn good. Um, yep. Just uh, always be invading. See you, uh, well, when there's some action. All right. Invasion of Western Australia has been ordered. And meanwhile, the Casa is taking on the Pathfinder. <sighs> yeah, but yeah, if we could take Australia, New Zealand, all the islands in the Pacific, Singapore, Hong Kong... The sun is kind of going to not shine on the British Empire anymore. We, we will have um, we will have taken a sizable chunk. And yeah, if we can keep, just keep going and push on towards India, that will be extremely, extremely devastating. Right. Casa shouldn't have any issues here. little transport. Ooh. Uh, no, fine. Right, there goes the transport means we can focus on taking out the cruiser. Set some torpedoes her way, which should force her to the right from our point of view. Starboard. Or they could just fail. Still though, we're getting raking AP fire. Yeah, now they're moving. Oh, clever. Wasn't expecting to have a torp loaded. I think there's a gap there, though. So I don't oversteer. Look at that. Threading the needle. 
Nice try. But three main belt pins mean that the Pathfinder's day is over. Well, that was a masterclass by the Casa there. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely. Back to the map. Aha! Uh -huh. A chance for revenge. The Obami has found the Kinburn again. And the Kniaz uh, Dovemont. Ten transports, but she's brought back up. She's brought the Warusawa with her. Ah, uh, yes. Love a bit of good revenge. Yes, yes, yes. Good stuff. Let's go. Da, 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 da. We have a little bit of torpedo. Um, with the Mizuho class. A little bit of uh, long lance spice in our attack makeup, but mostly it's just more 12 inch guns. Oh, Wadusawa actually leading. Interesting. Close, very close. Initial salvos, Jesus. Anyway, we need both ships to focus on what I assume is the enemy battle cruiser. Yes, it is. Okay, and they are going that way. Cool. Right, secondary tower. Not bad. Always helps to reduce the enemy accuracy. Rudder damage, flooding. Now we just want to eliminate her ability to shoot at us as quickly as possible. Flooding hit. series of flooding hits. You do get a hit that goes right through. More hits to the superstructure. Ah, Tip of the 10-inch guns hit, but they don't go through the armor. On flooding. Ah, that was a seventeen inch hit. We have, however, launched uh, torps, which is interesting. I'm going to let Obami continue on the battle cruiser. I'm going to get Waru, Warusawa to focus on the heavy cruiser instead. Uh, where are the torpedoes? There they are. More flooding hits. Oh, that sounded horrible. Yeah. Heavy cruiser getting... Ooh, deleted. Didn't see those coming. Didn't realise the Russian... Have that ability. Oof. Good job I uh, split the ships up and got them manoeuvring. Whoa! What I saw her sunk. What happened to her? Oh, she took another hit from the 17-inch gun. She was moving away. It's a shame, because she nearly had the uh, heavy cruiser down. Uh, just goes to show, no combat is 
I guarantee. There, we got her. The board definitely makes things more difficult. Yeah, Warisawa taking six penetrating hits from 17 inch guns. That is too much for her to deal with. And it's a shame. She did well. Obami gets the revenge. But at the cost of her sister ship. Well, not sister ship, but cousin. Oh, it's bittersweet. What about relative costs? How much is Kinburn? 598. And Warasawa, 576. So they were roughly equal. Uh, plus, of course, we sank the Kniaz, which is another 300. But of course, we can replace our losses if we wish to. Um, whereas the Russians cannot easily replace a ship like that. Might be worth building some sort of raider. Uh, we don't really have very many fast battleships with big guns. Could, uh, battleships, battle cruisers, I mean. Could be worth a look. Could be worth a look. But I'm just going to time lapse killing the transports, and I'll see you on the uh, post battle results screen. There we go. Um, not the greatest uh, victory ever. Uh, exchanging a battle cruiser for a battle cruiser, basically. I think it might be worth having a look. But honestly, I, I was thinking I could just make some more Mizuho's. Um, that shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, but let's have a look at that on the flick screen. Ah, okay, so the Mizuho's have never had a refit. So that is something we could do. We could pull them in for a refit. Uh, I don't have a huge amount of... Oh, no, I do have plenty of spare capacity. I'm talking rubbish. So let's pull them in for a refit, first of all. Uh, and then I can show you, actually, how you... Um, how you build a refit. Because it's one thing... That <laughs> People have been asking for for ages. I just want to build a refit version of a ship. Um, but I can't. I have to build the ship and then refit it. You, you, What you can do, though, is you can just copy the class once you've refitted it and then make a new one. So we're going to refit mode. Uh, slightly overweight. It's already using diesel too. Wow, this thing uses super diesel? It's already got very high-end everything. It could get a Gen 3 radar, though. Uh, it's not really much we can do for it. And it's actually 98 tons over. I don't think there's any point doing a refit of these. Apart from to get them the Gen 3. Can I... <sighs> Sometimes you can get away with like dropping it by one and it doesn't count. Um... Uh, oh, I mean, I could drop them to uh, standard crew quarters. Uh, that that would be fine. So, right. This is the refitted Mizuho. Okay, so we'll save that design. And then what we need to do is we need to copy it. Wow, that takes a long time. Uh, that's why you should have cut this out. So, yeah, there we go. So this is the Mizuho refit. We'll be able to order copies of those. I'm just going to head back and do that. Okay, refit's ordered. Apparently that takes five months. Uh, probably because I very slightly adjusted the gun length or changing the crew quarters or something. Anyway, uh, not a problem. Uh, let's uh, now try and build this. So uh, obviously I can't just build these. 
Uh, but what you can do is if you hit view, it'll go in and load the constructor again, which takes forever because I'm really late into a campaign. Hopefully it'll be faster on uh, a newer save. And eventually, once it loads in, there we go. Now, this time, instead of going into refit mode, we're going to just press copy. Get the funny noise. And eventually, it will load up the interface at some point. Again, it's very slow because I'm uh, deep into a campaign. So, this is the Mizuho. It's Mizuho, right? Uh, Mizuho uh, refit. Just call it something like that. Save the design. And then we're going to go back out to the fleet screen. And there we go. <clears throat> I now have the Mizuho refit uh, to build. I'm just going to build one right now to replace the one that we lost. Uh, but we can add in some more later. I'm just going to check that I've not gone over that. Oh, bloody have. Uh, okay, I'm going to order it, but I'm going to suspend it. And I'm going to have to rename it as well. Uh, okay, I will, I will think of an appropriate name. But uh, yeah, we'll replace this and we'll build it. Yeah, build it in the Haifa. Sure. In fact, that's that's a perfectly good name for it. Uh, where did it go? Cool. Um, there we go. Right. Well, uh, with that done, uh, I did have to suspend the Ryuho um, to to get these the refits done wherever they are. Uh, up here somewhere. Okay, it's only three months, so three months delay, uh, and then I'll order some more Mizuho's because they're they're pretty handy ships to have around. Other than that, sticking on Britain, uh, GDP is still over two trillion. I'm not worried about them collapsing anytime soon. Um, they have re <laughs> their number of built ships has gone down, and their number of active ships has gone up which is fine uh, it's just the way it goes we're just gonna have to slowly wear them down how are the soviets doing actually uh, they actually have a reasonably sized fleet question is where is it how much do they have in the black sea uh, a cruiser another couple of cruisers battleship and more cruisers they've got a lot, a lot of cruisers in there actually all right uh with that, I think it will end. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.